for you. All right, everyone, welcome back to the 35th session of Fate. Woo. Uh, this is probably the longest running D D campaign I've oh. ever had. Oh. <coughs> Nonstop uh, disco. And you guys started at level one? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. We only had, and we've only had a couple. What level are you guys now? Twelve. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Yeah. yeah There's only been a couple of times where we've been like this. Everyone assuming, levels up. Assuming everyone survives this, uh, <laughs> will definitely be a, a milestone for leveling up. Now, Corey. You're, you're a little bit behind. So let me give you the rundown of what's going on. Uh, we all died and we're in limbo trying to get our, our bodies back. No. <laughs> Not <laughs> Close. That would be an awesome side campaign to do some other time. Yeah. So but. they uh, fought off well, the cultist cultist in your hometown, Sinefeld. You were there for that. Yep. Uh, last, the, the last thing I remember was uh, Eli's leg. Yeah, leg got Elric. For yeah. Elric. No, not uh, Elric. Uh, Terrell. Terrell. Yeah. It's been too long. Elric had <coughs> fi finished his, uh, his research into how to deal with the Mind Flayer problem. And you all have helmets of mind shielding now. Does this require attunement? For the sake of uh, the this, we're going to say no. Good. I was going to argue. Mm -hmm. We all work. <laughs> I'm going to say no on that one. <clears throat> now, you got word from the Guildmaster of a number of things. The first is that they've located a Mind Flare colony. Second is that near the Mind Flayer colony, arguably in, they don't know exactly where, but near the Mind Flayer colony, they have located the phylactery of the lich that you guys ran out of that castle. Mm. That's a side thing. You don't have to go do that. I would recommend it if you can <laughs> to do that, just to... Uh, Get it over with. That will oh, will, will, will uh, prove itself to be a useful thing for Get whatever with. Uh, use later. And then you made your way south yeah, to Kirill. Sorry, you guys Coral. can't see the map. Uh, and you're making your way into the Underdark towards Dezorus, which is where the uh, kind of near near that location is where the Mind Flayer camp is. On the way. You encountered uh, during the watch of Sai and Eisenschmidt. You found a scout, Death Elf scout, that was uh, <laughs> kind of chatting. He mentioned specifically mentioned the fact that they are on their way to a cleansing. Well, that's not good. And it's you never are good. all invited. Quite strenuously. To speak with uh, the matron mother uh, who's on the journey as well. Oh, that's not uh, that's now, Eisenschmidt knows this, and then none of you all do, but their proximity to the Mind Flayer colony has resulted in much of their training, or like many of the, the Death Elves of this particular uh, colony of Death Elves, tend toward psionics. <coughs> now, Isaac oh. Schmidt is not bound. Everyone else is. No, Imps Im is not either. Imp Imps is not as well. That's fair. I think, and did he release psionic stuff for 5th uh, edition? No. Alright. And <laughs> <laughs> they have not. I didn't think they had. No. Did they ever for 4th? Uh, I don't. I th think they may have in like the like the third, third player saying book yeah. or something. Uh, thankfully, fourth edition was short lived. I mean, it was fun for what it was. But yeah, it, it it ran its course. You're on your way Fucking to sick. oh much, much. Uh, you're on your way to having a chat with Yay. the matron. 
Why are we all tied up? Because that's Because you're not dead. It's the only way we I'm not dead. Yeah, he, 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 he fucked up. I called them all pussies because I just like. Yeah, I tried to give them all death fly answers. Away. Mm -hmm. Are you tied up? We're in the end of no, the no, no, I'm done. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, I so I'm, I'm I not tied you just up roll and I made my right uh, trusty Steve or you may die. tied up so now, I could ride him. The one scout uh, oh. came back with yeah. his scouting that's, party, which is about 20, yeah. 20 death yeah, elves or so. And you're on your way to the main encampment of the death elves. Are we under dark or? You're under dark. Yeah. So you're in your favorite terrain. You're good. Mountain, oh, yeah. mountain is, nope. huh? Oh, you're not Bex. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, mountain swamp forest. Yeah. That's kind of like the. Dark. You're in the mountain. All right. I need to turn that off. Turn it off. This beep oh. happens all the freaking time. Turn beep. that ringtone down to vibrate, so it'll be all right. But yeah, thanks to my plus. You can have. One of the voltages, yeah. You're welcome to one. You're a kind guy. The <laughs> <laughs> most benevolent guy. If you uh, recall, the scout's name is Vithrin Xantotum. Xantotum. He, um... Is he a Xantotum barbarian? No. Yeah. Vithron. Yeah. He is the uh, elder boy of uh, matron. Elder so boy. you are, yeah, the oldest son. Yeah. And uh, you are on your way there. Now, I've, as I recall, all of you stashed your weapons in Amsh's. Uh, except for me. Holding, except for your hammer, which you tucked behind your shield, which is on your back. I'm currently knocked out, yeah. so it doesn't mean no good. Conscious. <laughs> conscious. Yeah, that's what happens when you get overloaded with drow sleep poison. Maybe it it even overcame, overcame the the uh, natural dwarven resistance to poison. Well, that's because they hate dwarves. <laughs> not necessarily. These are brown, not elf, not regular elves. You, get, you gotta get a little gut buster in you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you they immune. wouldn't drink the death dancer, so I called them all pussies. One of them did, and he passed out. <laughs> and they were like, and we laughed and laughed. We and should probably not. Do so I called them pussies, and they knocked me out. Yes, and I believe M should carry you because he's, he's, he's unbound. Now your legs are not bound, obviously, so you can't walk. Probably in the barrel. But, I'll put but, put you in your yeah, I think I said something about you having a barrel. Yeah, that's what that's what the saddle. Hey, where's your uh, this giant? So barrel. how significantly <laughs> outnumbered are we? A lot. Very. Uh, <laughs> we're a lot. We, All right, we, we, we basically have to just do what we're told right now. Dead, dead. We're between a dick and a hard place. Yeah, you can. So um, we'll go get it during the break. Dig dig. Dig dig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, I'm gonna smile what happens. Uh, is there anything <laughs> that you're wanting to do as you're walking along? Nope. Uh, can I? Hmm, I don't know. Track from where we are coming from from the path. Like I'm guessing they're taking us some different yeah, way. Yeah, sure. Give me a uh, give me a survival check. All right. Boop. I'm just, I'm just chit chatting away with my hands. Yeah. I was walking. Having a good time. Patting my steam. They are very interested in your gear because, like, they are not used to seeing overworld uh, gear. Yeah. Uh, and. Spin's coffee shop. Yeah. Can we show them that? Do they recognize us? I don't think they care about that. Uh, <laughs> they don't. Like, they've heard, they care, well, just they, they heard the name. Of, of Sven, because everyone has, pretty much. They're probably also curious um, on why I'm hanging out with such a yes. motley crew. Uh, 13, yes. by the way. Huh? 13. 13, okay. Got it. You can kind of follow along. Like, you notice, because, like, you were kind of found in a fairly sizable um, area. Yeah, because they came like to cave. us. Yeah. And you notice as you're kind of meandering through that the the tunnels get a little narrower as you're kind of making your way deeper in the underdark. <clears throat> and then eventually it opens up into this very large opening. And before you is a ton of 
death elves. I mean, like... More than we can count. Hundreds. All right. So we do what we're told. But it's not just death elves. There are... Fodder. It's mostly death elves. There's fodder. There's, there's like, uh, sort of on the, on the outskirts of this camp that they've set up, there's kobold groupings. Goblins. There's goblins. Oh my. It's like, the uh, Oh my. They, they, yeah, they do use fodder, because... Death elves. Why not? No, yeah, why not? Like, They're not the good guys. As you were moving in, of course, you noticed that the oh, kobold and goblin noid yeah. races become fewer and fewer, and you get more and more death elves. Uh, who stop what they're doing and tend to look over at your group. Um, they don't seem hostile. Did you put the head down in that barrel? Because my feet are probably sticking out. Oh, no. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> bloop. <laughs> we about that. I gotcha. Gotcha. I want to wake up at some point. I'm, I'm, I'm in the barrel. And... Uh, be a while. <clears throat> they, they're just curious. They don't seem, like, hateful or angry to see you. They're actually very interested in Eisenschmidt because they haven't seen very many Death Elves outside of their core dwelling. <clears throat> and eventually you make your way. Uh, you actually get to this sort of conical, this, this very large conical tent and you're, you're escorted inside. Everyone is. And there's a there's a chair, an obsidian chair. Sitting on that is an older looking, I mean for a death elf anyway, an older looking female death elf. Uh, she's yeah, I mean <laughs> yeah, she is. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> How to, are you talking? To her he right, <laughs> he's constantly dead. Is a mind flare. Oh god. To her left is a naga. So a big snake. Big okay. snake. Um, all around her, like sort of in in the tent you see several guards in obviously magical Ah. <laughs> Didn't have to tell me that, Corey, but okay. Well Corey? Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> He'll be back. Every time he gets get, in this, get us into trouble, I'll have to fuck our way out of it. There. <laughs> Besides, I'm just going to go. Oh, man. Are you there doing it? Is, is anyone trying to see if the sound's on, by the way? Yes. Yes, the sound is on. You're going to make your mother. If things get weird, you just the, fuck out of it. The, uh, yeah. the guards are in obviously magical gear, like much more than you saw. Now, a lot of the Dark Elves or Death Elves in the Contingency have Mastercraft kind of gear. Like very, very fancy gear. Uh, they are very skilled warriors. You can you just tell by the way they, they, like their poise and their gear and there are some training areas and you see them fighting and that sort of thing. Um, they kind of put you all into positions, kind of a semicircular positioning around the chair, and uh, they motion for you to pull the dwarf out of the barrel, <laughs> and a robed death elf woman comes up and casts a spell on him that nullifies the poison. So and and they kind of like just kind of like taps you awake. What? Well, the bloody hell was that? <laughs> oh hello, what are you? Death Elf. Hello, Brown. Oh, you're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Yeah, hey, you hey. wake up surrounded, and you see the Mind Flayer and the Naga as well. Uh, aren't you big and scaly? <laughs> um. Hello? Yes. <laughs> oh, you speak common. Okay. Yes. Please tell me I'm bloody dreaming. You're alright. You're alright. <laughs> I'm not alright. You, you want to go back to sleep? Yes! Okay. <laughs> Here you go. 
I'm not taking a fucking dead answer right now. <laughs> that just gets me really drunk and I'll say something stupid. That's a dangerous, that's a dangerous path. And you know how that went maybe last time. Was, yeah. <laughs> I'm smart than I look. I did, and I look around the death elves. I'm smarter than I look. Give me, uh... <laughs> everyone give me perception checks. I need a knife. Boom! I'm not that good at this. Fourteen. Fourteen. I got fourteen, too. Nineteen. Nineteen. Can I have advantage because I'm so dark elf? Ah... Uh, no. Evander? Um, yeah, I'll do it. Twenty-five. <laughs> this perception is super high though. 25. Yeah. Is it? 10. Oh, it is 10. Oh, okay, it's 10. Yeah, so still 13. <laughs> uh, and I, I, Evander got 20. So he got 13? Yeah, yes. Yeah, and 20. Yep. 19 and 20. And Nagri got 25. 25 for Nagri. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I'm just waking up though. You have, as I recall, you have all encountered Mind Flayers before. Mm hmm. Uh, once earlier, I did it in my, in my soldiering days. Um, this particular mind flayer is different than anyone you've ever seen. It has six tentacles instead of four. <laughs> Can I do a history check to see if I remember what it is? Uh, sure. Sure you can. Not good at those. But just see well, if um, I remember it. Will you roll me a stealth check? <laughs> I I will not. Thirteen. Damn. Thirteen. Mm, no. So I've not seen one of these before. Okay. No, you've not seen one of these in particular. But not, you know that normally they have four. This one has six, and they're longer than sort of standard. Um, the death elf woman. Which one? The one that's sitting on the, the throne chair <laughs> thing. <sighs> kind of leans forward. What brings you all here to the Underdark this fine day? I'm on a meeting for. Oh. Wow. I'm on a meeting. <laughs> I'm on a meeting. You're still groggy. <laughs> this I'm slap, on a. <laughs> just slap myself a little bit. I'm on, on a mission from God. I always want to use that line. Blues Brothers. A mission. Hmm. I've been sent from the house Orly out. To come and meet House Xantoda. Well, what happens? We heard many great things about you. We like to. So you have come to join coming. us in the cleansing. I. Um, that, that's happening right now, but uh, uh, this is mainly a diplomatic meeting. That makes sense. Timing might be a little. <laughs> not as expect. good. Did not as, plan this. <laughs> but as, uh, as well, I thought. But we are here. Is there any way that you can unbound my companions? Unbind my companions. Hmm. They have traveled with me Perhaps. from my land to yours. The only one. The only ones I see with weapons are you, the dwarf, and that thing. The <laughs> <wear bear>? <laughs> <laughs> that that is my trusty companion. He <laughs> I see. What to do, girl? Where are your weapons? Surely. It is bag. I would actually like to know what happened to my weapon. Me, I, I have my weapon. I don't account for others. I defend. My, I, well, can, I can. We defend. went ahead and he, he just them. straight up was like, "They're in the bag." I'm surrounded. That's yeah. 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 <laughs> we'll be honest. Hey. Yeah. They're, they're in my bag of holding. I'll Those put them in there for safekeeping. <laughs> you can go ahead and distribute them. That's fine. Cool. They and don't. Yes. They're not concerned, man. Yeah. <laughs> and and yes, we can unbind. Ooh, thank you. I just didn't know your intentions until now. 
Uh, you notice the the mind flare kind of shift uneasily. Kind of surreptitiously go. Granted. My name is Barica Zenford. <laughs> spell that. I'm gonna spell like Rebecca, but with bar. Bar. B a r i c a. Not even close, but I know what it says. <laughs> the matron, an overseer of this cleansing. I can't swallow and shrink. So you are here on a diplomatic mission. How did you know we were out and about? I just knew where you were. Give me a deception check. Will you stop lying yes. to these motherfuckers? Well, wow, that's a 27. Hmm? So will you 25. stop lying to these motherfuckers just tell them the truth? Okay. Yeah. Like, hey, they might actually I didn't know they were there! I'm not lying! <laughs> oh. I had no idea. We're here for riches and glory. <laughs> so a lot of riches. Yeah. Mission from God. <laughs> riches and glory. So she's speaking common talk, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. I need, <laughs> I need more allowance. <laughs> the, uh, she kind of looks, looks over to the mind flayer briefly. I don't think it's you to everyone. This is Cephalosk. Really? Hmm? Cephalos. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I don't want to spell. I spell it my way. <laughs> like cephalos. He is the most unique. Yeah. Mind player. We'll get into that later. Oh, bro. And this is Cardia. Speaking of the nun. Yep. Guardia. Guardian. Well, just Guardian. It's a pretty fucking generic. Yeah, that's pretty generic. Have you? You're here. What is the purpose of your diplomatic meeting? To introduce. I am the eldest son of House Orliap. They told me to come meet with the strongest house of the of the South. Hmm. I am sorry to hear about my year. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not. If he, because the only. He must have passed if you're the eldest. I have no problem. I will, well, I will take this tech. will go towards maintaining the balance. Amen. Well. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Not you're somewhere in your head just going, You dick! <laughs> you <laughs> motherfucker! Hey, I st I'm still not lying. Crazy yeah. check. No, we've, we've, we've gotten past that. Shut up, man. You're the worst person. <laughs> you're the worst person. I think you're really still playing poker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me a stealth check, Nagri. Nine ten. plus ten, that's great! One and nine plus one. Oh. He doesn't feel bad having a pissed off matron mothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aren't you in a dimension door in the evil campaign? Yeah, some, <laughs> Just got some would call it crazy. They do not understand. In between dimensions, actually, I think. Let's look at this. Our purpose for being here. He's only here because he talks to dragons. Have you heard of the veil? Oh, shit! Oh, God. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. 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 I heard it in passing. <laughs> Have you? Of Do course. you know where your kids are right now? Uh, our purpose here on our top is to maintain the balance. Life and death. You see, the veil is barrier. The seal, if you will. 
If it gains too much, as in too much death, then the terror becomes too strong and can escape. If there is too much life, the barrier is weakened. And similarly, the terror can escape. We maintain the balance by keeping the monstrosities of the Underdark in check, maintaining life, and occasionally having to cleanse, perpetuating death. Chaldea, our goddess, is all about balance. She all about death. Hey, I'm always down for a jihad. <laughs> Waiting for a, a Negan moment to happen right now. <laughs> He's still in the baseball bat. Chaldea. <laughs> hey, you want a baseball bat slowly? <laughs> Chaldea is the goddess of spiritual weapon yeah. baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. Okay. We'll be right back.